Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky everybody, Alon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission. We're going to go ahead and get started today. I'm going to take my little Starborn Runner. Oh, you're familiar with this ship I'm sure by now. Yeah, we got the new Expedition or the Expedition Redo of Omega going on right at the moment. And I'm sure all of you are anxious to get that ship as a reward. So please make sure you get that done. You only have, you have less than two weeks to get it done folks. So make sure you get that taken care of. All right, so here we go. Into the anomaly we go. We're going to check out what mission is available for us today. And thank you all for joining us today. Appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that like button if you would, please. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing. Really appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. All right, so off we go to the terminal. Okay, and as you can see, of course, the icon at the top indicates that there is a mission available for the weekend. Uh, that's where the weekend one shows up. The ones on the right, of course, are your regular missions that you can get anytime you wish. You get them once per day, and if you can accumulate up to three, and once you've done all three, of course, you have to wait an extra 24 hours before another one shows up for you. Um, there's also one that appears, appears on the left side. You won't see it very often, but it's purple. It has a big question mark on it. Those are for special missions. Occasionally, you run across those. Hopefully, you'll see one of my, you've seen one of my previous missions where we've done that. Anyway, malicious foliage looks like we're going to be uh, eliminate, eliminating hazardous flora again. In this case, though, I'm getting liquid explosive as well as the 1800 quicksilver. And what else? Ah, 342 nanites. Very good. Always can use more of those. So let's go ahead and initialize our mission and get started, shall we? And it should pop up in a second. There it is. As usual. All right, here we go. Now, this uh, particular video is coming out a little bit earlier than usual, of course. I'm actually off work today and trying to get some things done. Hopefully, you've been enjoying some of the live streams we've been doing. I'll be live streaming again on Saturday morning. That is Saturday the 30th at about 8, 8, 8, 8 a.m. or so. I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be 8 or 9 a.m., but probably 8 a.m. That's Eastern time, by the way. <laughs> All right, so as usual, when you leave the anomaly, it sends you into hyperspace into a system of its choosing, or really of Sean's choosing, if you will. And it will tell us what system to go to, or pardon me, what planet to go to in this system in just a moment. That way. All right. Now, we do have to go straight to the site it's telling us to go to. There will be a grave marker there that we'll need to communicate with first. My suggestion is, is as you're heading in, hopefully you have a ship that can uh, hover like the one I'm in right now. And as you come in, come in a little bit low and start checking your radar at the top. You're looking for a diamond shaped icon. Looks very similar to the No Man's Sky icon, basically. Also, some aberrations in the ground will usually give it away that there is a gravestone marker somewhere close by. Okay. Are we really that far away? It's hard to say right now. Okay, looks like we're getting closer. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, it just showed up. Right over this way. Hold on. Just saw it a second ago. There it is. There it is. Right there. So it must be like right below me, I'm assuming. Bring it in. All right. Hmm, oddly colored planet. It actually changed its color by the time I landed. Interesting, interesting, once we exited the ship. All right, let's check this out. Now, first of all, just so you know, this is the, uh, the Sentinels aren't really attacking here. Um, looks like we do get unfathomable storms according to this, so please be careful. I'm assuming it's going to be hot. It's already at 105 degrees on this planet, so we'll see how it goes. So let's hit up the marker here. Uh, failure of Duarte Gurge. Bzzzt, the atmosphere here, but bzzzt, by the strangling vines. Very little ammunition. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous floor. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and go after the hazardous flora. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Um, I don't seem to be getting attacked by anything. I just want to make sure none of the animals here are mean. 
Nope, so far so good. We're in good shape. All right, so a couple different ways you can do this. First of all, if you open up your scanner, it'll tell you that there's hazardous flora nearby. So as you can see, I need to get 15 of it. I'm going to use my mining laser because the hijack laser on this tool is pretty powerful. Um, actually, I think I'll switch over because I'm using a, uh, a tool I was thinking about keeping. So we'll just switch over to the Atlas Scepter, shall we? So there's one, and there's two. So we got two so far. So, you know, obviously there'll be some floating around around here uh, of different types of hazardous plants. Looks like there's another one right up the hill over there. And we got it. Okay, so that's three now. Now we can keep going in this direction and keep bouncing around and trying to find them here and there. But you have another option. Your other option is to go seek out a cave. And inside caves, unfortunately, this one seems to be kind of small, there's usually... Yep, a little too small for our tastes, isn't this? Let me just check down below. Because caves can be also be identified by the things in them from up above using your scanner. So let's see if we can find a different cave and I'll show you what we're talking about here. All right, let's see, humming sacks. Humming sacks indicate that there's a cave nearby. So let's go ahead and head into there. It's not very far, there's obviously no cave entrance. So we're gonna go ahead and make our own. Try not to hit directly at it. All right, gonna switch back to our mining beam. And inside caves, as you know, are these little beauties right here that spit out noxious fumes. Those are hazardous flora, and they usually come in large groupings of them. So, I just got three more right in a row. There's one up there. Looks like two up there, actually. So that was quick. Three more. We're already up to 11, and we've only just entered this cave system. So just look for more of those blobs hanging around on the ceiling or on the floor. Or the walls, anywhere really that they could possibly attach to, you'll find them. There's one there. Two, actually. And we just need, what, how many? Two more? I think we're done. Let's check over here. This is getting kind of narrow, so I don't think they're going to be over there. Let's go the other way. Oh, yeah, there's a grouping right there. Grab as many as you like. There we go. Got them all. I'll grab the last one just because because it's good for oxygen and everything else like that too. So, And a little trick to get out of your cave. Like, oh crap, I can't find my entrance. Where did I come in? Dig yourself one more hole. Switch the setting on your tool to fill it back in while you're standing in it. And it'll squirt you back up to the ground. Yes, that's the best way I have of putting it. Squirt. <laughs> so there we go. Best way to get out of your, get yourself out of a cave situation. And there we go. And that literally is the end of the mission. You don't have to do anything more. So just jump into your ship and head on out. So we're going to head up to the anomaly again. There we go. Once we're in space, go ahead and Hit your menu, and got to get far enough out because of planetary interference, it says. There we go. And head in. And there we are. Excellent. So, a pretty straightforward mission. Didn't seem to have any problems with the planet. Again, I, did, I wasn't there long enough to get hit by a storm. So I don't know how furious the storm is there. But it will be a hot storm, so you probably want to make sure you have some kind of hot protection or heat protection in your exosuit. Usually looks like this. Infrared thermal pump in this case, but any heat protection like this will do. All right. And that should do it, folks. Let's just head over to the terminal over here. I don't think we have anything that's going on over there, but always like to check just to play it safe. Oh, you do have to do this first. And back to the Nexus, make sure you hit Complete Mission, and you get your rewards. Alright, good deal. And as we get in here, we'll check quick, quickly. Yep, all we have is these right here. There are no new uh, items to be had here. We're going through the redo missions right now, so for the next several weeks, all the way through the beginning of February, we will probably not have anything showing up in there. So as you can see, our blue emblem is gone. We're back to the regular ones. And those regular missions usually are just, uh, you have one that gives you a little extra 
um, Quicksilver, that's what one of those emblems on the side are. You do them in order. In this case, you get a nice white warp hypercore plus 400 Quicksilver. So, yeah, significantly less. But the other missions that are available could give you all kinds of other neat things, including credits and nanites as usual. But if there's things you need, like you need hypnotic eyes, if you need some uh, frigate fuel for your, fri for your frigates to go on missions, or of course, star shield ship batteries, um, star shield batteries, I should say that's a good time to get these or a good place to get them from. Now, you're probably wondering what that liquid explosive is good for. The liquid explosive can be used, it's crafted from acid and unstable gel as it says there, but it's also used in other items to uh, create larger items that are actually much more valuable. So it's good to hang on to those when you can and you'll be able to use them for bigger, bigger recipes that you can make more money at. So hang on to it in your inventory somewhere, maybe in one of your cargo containers, Come back to it later when you need to. And don't forget, folks, the terminal in the corner here is for getting your getting your mission going with your main saved to go through a current expedition. So the expeditions are available in there. One day we hope that terminal will be made available to run any expedition you want. That would be really neat. But, you know, we all hope and pray for it, and we've already made the suggestions many, many times to Hello Games. So, again, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you very much for watching. Again, hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you again next week here at the same place. This is Alon Paul signing off. Take care, everybody.